Taking a live look at Union Station, where today a 43 foot tall golden piece of history visited the loo. This is the golden spike. It's similar to what was used to ceremonially complete the transcontinental railroad back in the 1860s. This artifact has been rolling into cities and towns all across the country. And tonight, our Steve Harris shares the history that's now visiting Union Station. What is it? What is it? What is it? Questions you might have heard as this drove down Market Street this afternoon. So this is the Golden Spike Monument. How, How big, big is, is that? that? It is a 43 foot long spike. Yes, it's a massive monument modeled after the one ceremonially used to complete the Transcontinental Railroad in 1869. It left Kentucky yesterday on a trip to Brigham City Park in Utah stopping at historical railroad sites along the way, like Union Station. One of our main goals is to bring kids to experience the history, and this just feels like the perfect place. Each side tells a story. A glimpse into a part of history that maybe hasn't been told as expansively. The vision of sculptor Dow Blumberg. My passion was to try to tell a fuller story where it was more inclusive of everybody who was involved, not just the financiers and the politicians and the scandals, but also, you know, 18 year old Irishman swinging a pick in the desert and the young Chinese man who had just come over So everybody. Memorialized on a 7,000 pound, 43 foot tall display. And then covered with 1,100 square feet of 24 karat gold. So just throwing out numbers may not do it for you. I'm gonna give you a little perspective of just how big this is. See what I mean? Big. Next spring, the monument will settle into its permanent home at the Golden Spike Park in Utah. But until then, road trip of epic proportions. Steve Harris, First Alert 4.